Today we're at the Brew and Bacon Fest in downtown Gloversville, New York. This has been going on for a couple years now, and it's my first time down to the festival, and I thought I would bring you the sights and sounds of it today. Long time area business owner and friend Bill Wemple and the was owner band were performing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this off and let you listen to a little bit of that. The mending was somewhat limited, but uh, there was a good time being had. The weather was absolutely beautiful. Um, they had a couple of various uh, crafting vendors and a few food vendors. I didn't see a whole lot of uh, bacon tied into any of it. Uh, the beer garden, oddly, had a $5 cover charge just to go and drink beer. The entertainment was free, the crafts and the rest of it were all free, but if you wanted the privilege to drink, you had to pay $5 to go in the little beer garden, which I thought was odd and a little different than other events, but, you know, I understand that you gotta cover the cost of the probably having the liquor license for the day and whatnot. They did have a couple of t-shirts and a couple of distillers there. Um, a couple of different things. Like I said, it was a decent little a decent little craft fair. Not the biggest one ever, but they definitely had some stuff out there you could purchase and take a look at it while you, while you enjoyed the Ozoner band. out there in the sunshine yesterday. There was some people enjoying a little bit of Connect Four. It was filled out, perfect timing. Uh, band definitely was rocking on the stage there. And too bad there weren't too many, there weren't more people out there to enjoy it. Uh, but the thing is, these smaller festivals, people will knock them and whatnot, but if you, if you don't support them, they're never going to grow or get any bigger. There's the little police out there holding down the beer garden. And we'll take a look at a couple more of the crafts here. Um, 
Like I said, there wasn't a whole bunch, but if you don't support these things, they will never grow and you'll never have anything. So keep that in mind when you have these local festivals. Hopefully they get more beer vendors too. I do, like I said, I didn't go in the beer garden because it cost five dollars, but it didn't look like there was a whole lot of number of uh, a lot of these local places. I seem to see Stump City in there and one from Glen Falls, but I know there's a number of local brewers right in Mayfield too that you know they need to reach out to these guys and, and make sure to you get them all involved. And it was a decent little event. Here's some of the other stuff they had available for sale. More the distillers. And then you'll see some walking sticks here, which I thought was kind of cool. It looks like Lucy the Elephant from Atlantic City there. Another one of the food vendors. And there's those walking sticks. I'll take one more look here at the, the round, and we're going to be heading out for the... 2023 Bacon and Brew Fest. I hope you enjoyed. You can definitely probably catch the Ozoner uh, band out at uh, the Mayfield Grill or over to Wally's Driftwood this winter, or you can call and get, get in touch with them and book them yourself. Uh, they usually make the rounds. There I am out in Rock City Falls. Go Jets today. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe here on the Todd Broward channel. Thank you very much.